try it. All right, cool. All I figured, right. You know, I fix more is mess. better. Yeah, why not? Okay, I will get these guys going here. Let's see. Hey, monkeys. I am so washed out in this camera shot. I have no pigment. I mean, that doesn't help. But, well, uh, you know, that's something you could do, too, if you wanted to do, you know how you got your picture of you? Maybe yeah. cartoons for me, because I'm not going on camera if I don't have to. Yeah. Like, just do little pictures for everybody. Yeah, I could always do this. Uh, this. Right. Drawing. Drawing. Yeah. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind being on on uh, on cam. Tell you the truth, I don't either. Like it doesn't really bother me, but it's like I'm a girl, so it's different. Yeah. Like I, yeah. no, I understand. I have got to like, you know. I there just we go with a feminist out. card. Uh, my wife, but my wife is always like, "How the fuck do you get ready in ten minutes, you goddamn bastard?" I <laughs> know, right? Oh um, my god! What, what do gotta, oh, yeah, what do I gotta do? <laughs> I know. I, I it's something I've been like gawking about and you know squawking about for a while too. Like I'm like I hate how fast you guys get ready. This stuff. <laughs> Ugh. All right. So let's see. I'm gonna oh. keep the link there on Phil. Uh, let me it's see. My Logitech sharing shit. I'm gonna leave the chat open too if you want to talk in there. Uh. Got to open up some things. See if we have anybody joining us in places. I could just doodle something and hold it up to the camera. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Sketching comedy. This is how we you do, do it. it We're night, guys. playing fast and loose tonight, so it's yeah, it's it's just how it rolls. So I'll say some words, and uh, you know we're gonna put the sounds and all that kind of stuff in afterwards. So don't even worry about all that junk. All right, no, it'll be a good run through. Like I don't know what the show's format is, so whatever. I'm just along. We don't have one yet, so oh, okay. we don't know what it is either. And oh, wait, you've uh, only done this once before, right? We just started playing. Yeah, cool. yeah, it was kind of fun. So, so we have some loose idea. We're just kind of figuring it out as we go too. With Jack and Nerd, Jack and Nerd. You know, every time I have my sound Jack and Nerd. Come on. Every time I hear your commercial, yeah. every single time at the end, I go, check a dirt every time. I do too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> People walk by my office and do that. Like, we've got, we got them trained. Uh, here we go. Check a nerd. There it yep, is. There it is. <laughs> oh, shit. I just wanted to make sure all the things worked. <laughs> ha -ha, you're good. Okay. I tagged you guys in Twitter. And then there's this one. Check a nerd. It's got a little extra flair on it. Timpani. Jeez. Timpani. Timpani. Breakfast at Timpani's. I love Timpani in the 80s. She's a great pop star. Oh, wait. Yeah, it played at all the malls. Yeah. Huh. All right. I'm putting this on, on live now. So that's good there. <laughs> My silly little face. That's awesome. Is on the actual <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh, my God. How ridiculous. Um... That'll teach you to pick a better profile pic. Yeah. I think that I think that picture is hilarious. I love my that's my I love Lucy picture. I love that one. I can't not have that one. Oh, Mary Tyler Moore died too. I, I know. Sad. Very sad. All right, I tagged you guys in this on Facebook, so please share that. I was gonna have to get a new sheets of paper going, although I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that you're doing that. We need artwork for Brokebot Mountain because, you know, you're not busy, right? Hmm. No. No, let me get right on that. Ha. Huh. It's all good. Have any of you tried this uh, Facebook Live crap? Has anybody yeah. tried it? Is it work? Is it decent? Um, is it work for what? Anything. Um, Because I'll do, like, you know how I do Periscope drawings? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll I do that, but because I play music, Facebook ends up shit cannon it most of the time oh really that's uh, yeah they'll be like oh i noticed uh copyrighted you uh, in here. yeah, yeah. And, oh that's stupid I, it, and yeah, their they, app doesn't save the video to it's supposed to save yeah. it to my to my camera roll and it yeah. doesn't always do it it's really inconsistent so a couple of times i've done uh the varmints drawings mm -hmm. on facebook live and i've lost the video so i've had I've had the drawing and I've had no video. It doesn't save it on your Facebook page as a video. It it will unless 
uh, you're like playing music in there or oh, and then they just you, delete it and then they just go uh, wow hey we uh, don't think you have the rights to this music so we and how gonna, do they know you may have the rights how the fuck you can you can appeal it but it's never yeah. it's never shit I have the rights to I'm always like playing records or something back here but right um, but yeah they just they just kind of assume that you don't have the rights and they just kind of kick it out so it's really a uh, you should try the Facebook Live though, Carrie. It's uh, it they push they're pushing the live videos. All you need if you have a stream uh thing key and URL, yeah, uh, you can just light it up. You put in the stream URL and oh, it gives you a stream key, yeah, and then you put it in the other thing that you're streaming out of. Can you do it in conjunction with like YouTube? See, I don't know. How are you pushing this to YouTube? Are you using OBS? No, this is this is one hundred percent YouTube. This is straight straight youtube it's really great it's like it automatically creates an event and it puts you into a google hangout and then you start the broadcast right from the google hangout you there's a way broadcast. to i think you have mm, shit i don't know i see i think because we huh i don't know <laughs> we use it at work just to put out push out video with a still image right using obs don't you have geeky friends that you can ask? Like, how do you do this? Like, I have not. I've been wanting to figure it out, and I don't know how to send it to separate places. It's almost uh, like you have to send this stream over there. But see, I don't know if Facebook's gonna appreciate you putting Google in the fucking Facebook. That's yeah. where that shit gets messed up because it's all these. It's like two companies that own yeah. everything, and they yeah. don't wanna. They yeah. don't wanna cross platform anything. No, they so. don't. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah. like we, uh, you'd have to run two things, or something. So you probably have to run OBS and yeah. like could screen capture the. Yes. I could screen capture the. Yes, you would open OBS. You'd screen capture just this, and then you put the stream from Facebook into the OBS. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If your computer can handle all this. It's a Xerox of a Xerox. It's going to end up crazy. It's inception. <laughs> inception. Yeah. Infinity mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's kind of get started so we don't have to sit here all night but it should be uh pretty good uh i put in the chat room or in our little chat there um the actual chat room to oh. the channel <clears throat> come in here just say hello or something so i know you're in here that's good phil you no. don't have to come in here because you're drawing now next week if you want imran i would like it if you like if you both want to draw yeah i mean Mm, yeah, I just gotta grab a marker, but then I would just point. I have a, I have a thing here. You got a crayon? I need something thicker, don't I? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, hold on. I can find something. Hold on. Oh, let me get out of there. Let me see if I can push out any more social media because why not? Share in a group. Oh, that's not a group. It's a page we manage. Jason Caribou at Phil and at Imran. Okay, I got some markers and some different thicknesses. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I don't want to enable dictation, computer. This is you, <laughs> Mac Mini. I don't know what I just clicked. They wanted me to enable dictation. <laughs> I can't do that, Hal. I got your dictation right here. <laughs> you know, you can take the Amazon Echo and start saying, like, uh, you can change its name to like computer or whatever you want. So you can say yeah. your <laughs> computer. Sound like Star Trek. Yeah. If, actually, you can find uh, on the Alexa, or uh, that's the Alexa, right? Yeah. We're on uh, TuneIn Radio, so if you ask Alexa to play the Jock and Nerd podcast, it will play the Jock and Nerd podcast. Oh, isn't it's it? pretty cool? Awesome. Yeah. That's There's great. There's also a way you can make Alexa 
call to Siri and Siri to call back to Alexa. Oh no, you could get them talking and to you. And you can have them in a loop. Yeah, I saw a YouTube video of somebody talking. You're driving there, Phil. I see you're oh, going. This snap. is kind of how the show goes. We just keep talking for like 30 minutes and I'll throw in some bumpers and stuff. It'll be fine. What did you start on there? I'm drawing me. You're drawing me. Because I'm, I'm a narcissist and an egomaniac. Oh, I see it. I see it. You look like you're drawing yourself at the, at the uh, desk. Yeah. Board. You know, I misheard the name of the show. I thought this show was called uh, Sketching Komeni. <laughs> so I've been working on this portrait of the Ayatollah all day, <laughs> but I ripped it up when I realized that uh, that's not the fucking name of the show, you idiot. It's a really good it was, portrait. It was supposed to be uh, Sketching Colonoscopy, but sketching I kept colonoscopy. running out of black markers and uh, um, you know, <laughs> it was just using way too much ink. I'm just drawing a line of turds. <laughs> you, know, you know, I got to tell you, speaking of sketching, drawing weird things, one day at work, I used to work for this company where we made things that went into head shops. Like, uh, you know, like all oh, the, nice. the the blacklight reactive incense holders with the scary clowns and the oh, yeah, uh, yeah. the jesters and the fairies that you yeah, the black see. light posters. Yeah. yeah. And then like the fu the funky ashtrays that look like a pool table. Uh, yeah. So I worked at this company. We made all the shit. They had this product. It was a phone. And it, was, it had its own soundboard. So you could have a baby crying and a, a, an alarm, someone yelling, someone farting. So I did the art for the package. And one of the noise was farts. So one day at work, I sat around drawing farts all day. I was like, what's the best way to draw a fart? And then I was like, this was the best day I ever had. That is like, yeah. Drawing farts. 13... If you had told 13-year-old Imran that someday <laughs> someone was going to pay you to draw farts. Draw a burp? You would not believe I know. I had to draw a burp and a fart. It was great. Oh, Jesus. Well, on this show, you could have him draw whatever you want. Draw. We can have him draw that if you want it. Although he doesn't draw dicks. He won't do it. I've tried. Uh, like, it's well, too, that's hack. It's dick. hack. <laughs> yeah. He's like, don't do it. I have people that watch things and know me. <laughs> ah, that's like, I teach children. That's, uh, I look, we are it. not bathroom artists. That's uh, below us. Oh, As an artist, um, that's hey, below let's, us. Let's, let's hire our brows here a little bit. That's oh, right. Excellent. Uh, Tonda Gosa, who just joined us in the chat room. He Hi, was, Tonda. He, uh, oh, Tonda. During the conversation about streaming in multiple places, he says, check out Restreamio.io. Restreamio.io. Okay, so that may be the way to push all the feeds everywhere. Yeah, it might be. Uh, yeah, because I just want one. Like, I'd, I'd like to do it this way, you know, because this is, like, the easiest. I don't want to OBS everything if I don't have to. It gets a little weird. I got, I'm going to have to have, like, two or three screens going at one time. And uh, I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, it does. <laughs> I want to simplify this yeah. shit. You no, know, I ain't got time yeah. for that. Yeah, though, there are shows that uh, are streaming to multiple places at once. And I mean, I don't know if they got a crazy setup or uh, if it depends on processing power. Yeah, I don't know either. Or multiple. We'll have to check it out. We appreciate you uh, uh, spitting up with that. You know, spitting up. Is there a 13-year-old out there that maybe could help us? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Let me get my kids in here. And, and, and old people. That's, oh, man, those are old people. We need, like, <laughs> seven- and eight-year-olds that can, like, reprogram our entire life. It's crazy. Yeah, you know, when they're done setting up my iPhone, I'll yeah. send them in here to yeah. do that. It's... You know what the worst thing is? And I'm not going to tell you what it is, but now you get to have fun. Like, I swear to God, I'm horrible with passwords. Like, passwords are the worst thing for me. I do not have a yep. brain don't have a memory and i swear to god if you learn one password from me you, you know can all. my whole life <laughs> my whole life everybody can get into my bank account and you can also see what bra i ordered from you know lane bryant yesterday so it's like oh shit <laughs> i gotta get out of this i i will not admit to maybe doing the same thing but <laughs> i would like i'll put very Stop <laughs> ordering me bras from lane bryant <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's yeah. price. it's all good Oh boy! Not uh, what <laughs> feels like I'm starting start over. Hey, I'm starting over. So, are you a fan of Todd McFarlane, the artist, at all? Um, yeah, I like some. Of, I I was into Todd McFarlane back in the day, but I haven't yeah. really followed him much past the '90s. Uh, me neither. Uh -huh. Until uh, Facebook, because uh, he throws up Facebook live videos of him sketching all the time, and they're actually really cool. He gives lessons. He'll do like a quick head sketch of Spawn or Spider Man. Uh, he'll bring. Oh, out I thought stuff. it was gonna be just like he's just there sketching all the baseballs that he's bought from <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from is this that, memorabilia. Is that <laughs> what he's done with his money? He's, I know he's a. Big I think guy. so. Yeah. yeah, he bought like uh, uh, a bunch of. Uh, what was it like the Sammy Sosa home run ball that 
that broke, you know, and yeah. the does he have the, the, the Roger? Mer- yeah, he uh, the, the, McGuire yeah, and all that. He's buying all that stuff up. He buys all his sports memorabilia. I know. Listen, McFarland uh, was the guy to blow this whole thing out. Like I, I, I enjoyed McFarland back because I'm also an illustrator. And then when he started. Uh, like you see behind me, this was the Spider-Man everyone was used to. Kind of the John yeah. Romita classic Spider-Man. McFarlane comes in and just blows this door wide open, and it's so exciting. He made him a bug. Yes. Yeah. He, no, he was a yeah, he was a great Spider-Man. He honest. would pose yeah. him more like a spider. He made the eyes super huge. Uh, yeah. and for the first time, he made his webbing like knotted, tactile, thick webbing, which is just yeah. super visually interesting. Uh, and then the the best part is like just the exaggerations. Like he would be web swinging. And there would just be like six miles of webbing, like looped, hanging into just everywhere. And it was so cool. And uh, I just, I, w- I remember copying him a lot and wanting to be, like everybody wanted to be Todd McFarlane. I think everybody copied yeah. him back. He was, back he the, was the first yeah. rock star of the 90s. And uh, when these guys became big with Image and Rob Leefield and uh, making the Spike Lee commercials. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember the Liefeld uh, commercials and uh, never really got him, but. Yeah, no, th- dude, he's not. Uh, it's all style. Like you yeah. can, you can take any Rob Liefeld drawing and just explain how not to draw anatomy, kids. Here's what not yeah. to do. First of all, exactly. feet. You never cut the feet off because you don't know how to draw them. Second of all, it's called foreshortening. Uh, look at your anatomy. Like it's all over the place. So that was kind of a, a it, an effect of Todd McFarlane in a bad way. Was like people just got away with this shit because it was flashy. It was a it was a lot of flash, yeah. Who's that one but, uh, comic that like draws everything huge, like like uh, huge. Captain America's like muscle? That's Rob like, Liefeld. That's Liefeld. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah he draws, the thing is, he draws, that's him. But he is finally he's getting his due because he also created Deadpool. He created Deadpool. Yeah. And now he's big deal really? because of yeah he is the creator of Deadpool, which in the beginning was. Is so here's how bad he is. Deadpool itself is a fucking ripoff of Spider Man and Wolverine. Oh, yeah. Like oh, everything maybe. Rob Liefeld does is smush other characters together and uh, they're all ripoffs. So, but he it, Deadpool just ended up taking off for him. But he originally created him as like a serious mercenary. It wasn't until this writer Joe Kelly comes in uh, in the 90s and turns it into this guy who breaks the fourth wall, who's wacky, who's violent. He made it a comedy book. He made it a comedy slapstick that kind of lives outside of continuity and he can fuck with the whole Marvel. There's a series called Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe where Deadpool just murders everybody, all the heroes. It's great, but it's not like canon. And you can have this kind of fun with Deadpool. And now fucking Deadpool almost got nominated for a Golden Globe. And uh, it's just so huge. But yeah, it's really weird. It's very weird. Yes. Hmm. Anagasa loved McFarlane back then too. He's still good. He's making his figurines, his uh, action figures. Very yeah, he makes toys like crazy. Very he got into toys after after uh, Spawn, the HBO Spawn series. Mm-hmm. Uh, he kind of got into just making toys, which he's smart because there's a shitload of money now making those goddamn toys. Like he knows what he's doing. Well, if you look at like he's following the George Lucas model, yep. where the mar- merchandise and the yep. toys is is what paid for. It didn't matter if he ever made another good movie again. So right now I'm making uh, myself if I was a Rob Liefeld character. There you go. Okay, let's I'm break a... this down for the people. <laughs> it's very easy to do a Rob Liefeld drawing. So look, as Phil is doing, tiny head, giant fucking muscular soldier. Shoulder, right? That have no relation to reality. Okay, very good. You nailed that, Phil. All right. Now, now keep in mind, I have no knowledge of anatomy. No, you don't and, need uh, knowledge of anatomy. That's yeah. the best thing about drawing like Rob Leefield. God, if he's watching this, Rob, I apologize, but fuck you. You know what you're doing. <laughs> now, here's the best part. When you get down to the feet, you just, what do you it's do? It's foggy out. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there, you don't have to draw feet. Oh, you draw oh, there's all this smoke around the ground. You just and, draw uh, some rocks or some smoke and they're done. Boom. Uh, here, here's a bush out of nowhere that for some reason only comes up to my knee. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, the, 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 like the, one of those things where, where uh, artists can't draw hands. Like he's just like, fuck yes. it. Yeah. Well, look, the, yeah. No, you're right. 
A lot of a lot of Liefeld characters walked around with their hands in their pockets all the time. Oh my God, his fist would be as his wide fist. as his yeah. hands, and they would be. I'm like, what kind of? So the rule is generally, when in doubt, black it out. Like if you don't right. know how to draw something, just kind of fill it in with shadow. Rob <laughs> Liefeld is when in doubt, just fucking draw it anyways. Draw some rocks in front just, of it. Nobody's just, gonna just put it behind something. Yeah, Here's some pretty rocks. It's all good. He would be really good in the fashion industry for women. I can tell. Tiny yeah. fucked up waist that could not exist right. in real life. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Or Barbie. He could do Barbies. That would be great, too. And just, like, really fuck up oh. poor young girls' minds even more. It's like, yes. he has to be this big. Oh, he yeah. His, his women big. were insane. His women are it's ridiculous, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, now yeah. you have this shit it was, it, it's like a It's like a 16-inch waist and, and, like, triple E tits. They were just, it, everything was... Way out of proportion oh, no. and out of control. The pretty worst Rob Liefeld drawing. Oh yeah, there's there's all that kinds of like. All you gotta do weird. is Google Rob Liefeld. It's uh, the, yeah. it's very you'll find it right away. I mean, oh, you're like yeah. even as an, to an untrained eye, you'd be like, the fuck is wrong with their hands? Yeah, you, yeah. And <laughs> I don't think anybody would be upset about it if he wasn't hailed as like the second coming of Jack Kirby back in the day. Ugh, like, he's nowhere near Jack Kirby. He, no, no, no. But they, I mean, they treated him yeah, like yeah. this was the guy who was reinventing uh, comic art and, and all that. So, and, I mean, yeah, at the time, I found it exciting, I'll admit. But I was like fucking 14 years old. I dug it. <laughs> and I look back at it now. I'm like, this is garbage. Why did it, how could I have liked this? Oh Tom Nagasa says that still looks better than Leafield's stuff. And he's absolutely right. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Try harder oh to make God. it suck, Phil. Try harder, you know. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta put a thousand guns on me somewhere. Yeah, just yeah. little cross hatchy lines, no background, just do cross hatch. Oh, here's lots of here. oh, here's the other thing. Pouches. He put fucking pouches on yep, everyone. Everybody had oh that's right. No yeah, reason. all his uh pouches. Oh my god. Like I'm looking at this. Right? He's the oh pouches guy. Is this the link you put in here? Let me see this. Uh, you have to go like oh, geez, keep man. going down. There's basically a picture that it's the same picture Phil's fucking drawing. Just exactly. They I mean, all look like that. Like, keep going down. Like, Have you guys Pat, ever seen the, uh, the picture of women. Go Chris on Evans. down, Pat, X-Force. You got to see it. It's got the smoke at the bottom of the feet and everything. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Fucking yep. stupid. Yep. Holy yep. shit. That is so funny. God, I there's remember. A picture, there's yeah. a Photoshop picture of Chris Evans somewhere out there uh, on the internet that is him but they they blow up his muscles to the same proportions as that Rob Liefeld Captain America drawing. Yeah, yeah, and it just it looks insane. <laughs> it's so funny. So I I remember reading this. What was it at the time? It was, uh, it was different. It was, mm, it was refreshing. And I remember wanting to draw like it this was a movie. different art style, and and yeah. people dug it, you know. And people have either come around and still like it for what it is, and that's fine, honestly. Or people kind of their tastes matured and they just said, "No, nah, this this really wasn't it was as good not. as I remember." No, that's it, and, uh, but every everybody was I you know it's one of those things like you know those bands that everybody liked in high school and then they get older and everybody denies it and it's like, "No, nah, you dug it at a time." And and I think Liefeld is that for comic guys, you know, just like, like the eighty show MacGyver. Uh, I thought it was. <laughs> a lot better than it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I remember MacGyver being awesome when I, I was like, "This was the best shit ever." And then I watched an episode. I'm like, "Wow, this is garbage." How, uh, did, how did I think this was good? Oh my god! I know. I, I did just, the same with uh, Lou Ferrigno, Incredible Hulk. Uh, oh, that doesn't reasons. hold up, yeah. Phil. Don't yeah. tell me that doesn't hold up. You're breaking <laughs> I'm my sorry. heart. Sorry, I'm sorry, Imran. Uh, <laughs> to me, that was a dramatic masterpiece. <laughs> I mean, aside from the fake bear and all in that one episode, and uh, I feel I still feel like I I feel like that show would still hold up. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm just looking at like some of these pictures, and they're just ridiculous. So I mean, this was this was the the the, the height of the '90s, and it is also kind of what killed the industry in the sense that uh, they were making so many books. There were so many copycat artists that were, they were printing the, the hell out of those books. Yeah. Yes. A no, no, no numbers. Unlike today, like there's barely like the numbers today are just a fraction of what they 
They, oh God, look at this girl and her head and how she's twisting. Like, that's not reality. You're not even fucking trying there, dude. What are you doing? Well, I think it's because it's, you know, it's a graphic art. It's not like the fairly odd parents where the heads are supposed to be like a lot bigger and, you know, smaller hands and things yeah. like that. Like, like where it's really obvious. This is just like one of those things where it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Like you, it should be a little bit more in proportion to what you're doing. My God. Well, it should, it's supposed to look dramatic as opposed to correct. Yes, and the problem um, was, yeah, it was the splash. But if you look, if you look back at like Frazetta and the guys who did all those pulp covers and yeah. all the Conan stuff, yeah, you know, that stuff looked dramatic and correct. You yes. know, like like you can do both. Yeah, you don't have to sacrifice uh, one or the other. Or you were talking about this X Force cover with Juggernaut, yeah, where his uh, you don't see anybody's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but the splash page is ultimately what ruined it. Like a splash page is good once in a while for dramatic story point. It got in the nineties became every fucking page was a splash. Page. Every That's page. all artists wanted to draw. There was no <laughs> substance. It was all. Nobody wanted to draw the panels. No. Yeah. yeah. They just wanted to draw badass drawings, uh, full page. And it kind of just ruined the whole thing and inspired people at the same time. Right. Speaking of fairly odd parents, that's one of my favorite cartoonists is Butch Hartman. I don't know I, if you guys are in. I have not watched any of those. You don't have to watch them really to like, I mean, of course I did. And uh, I had a young child, so I kind of got sucked into Fairly Odd Parents like at a really young age. I was like, this show's great. Um, but uh, it yeah. it, it's pretty darn funny. But uh, I just really liked his cartooning style. It was just something completely different that, you know, that I think has been so copied now. You know, because it was kind of a late 2000, you know, like early, I don't want to say like 2000. Oh, yeah. It's but the very stylized kind of crisp. Uh, it, what does it remind me of? Like really? Titan Go now. Yeah. And uh, yes, exactly. It so it's like the, the Tartakowski, like Samurai Jack, yeah. uh, Dexter's yeah. Laboratory, yes, Powerpuff Dexter's Girls, Laboratory. kind of yep. Yep. vector yep. art. Yeah. And it's that's weird. my favorite kind of art, definitely, is going that way. Like, if you see any cartoon characters that I'll end up drawing for this goddamn show, I don't know how you're going to talk me into it, but I will. <laughs> but uh, my cartoon characters really kind of center around stuff like that. You know, I, I really kind of like, I mean, it's kind of like how Phil always wants to grow up and be, what is it, Scotty Adams? Is that who you want? Uh, uh, Scotty Young. Young, Scotty. Oh, Scotty Young is great. Uh, Scotty Young you know, he teach, lives man. here. Like, oh, really? Yeah, you told me. He lives like in your town. Yeah, that's really yeah, cool. Like, get him on this freaking podcast. How freaking crazy would that be? Get yeah, him to sketch awesome. some shit. Yeah, he has very whimsical, uh, you know, very. Uh, some of his lines remind me of like Bill pa Bill Watterson's Calvin and Hobbes kind of ink. Yeah, very much. Brush. Yeah. Oh, his, his like Spider Man and, you know, uh, all of those little characters. The baby like, versions. The oh, the babies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, love them. Great. I want them like all through my house, just kind of like hanging out. They're so good. He's like his Groot and Rocket, like his Guardians of the Galaxy creatures are just, they're perfect for that style. Yeah. But That's this fairly odd parents, yeah, this is kind of the, the style now of a lot of cartoons. It is. I think this, and I, I'm probably probably get it wrong but that's okay but i think he kind of created this style in a way you know it was, it's it's very of that time um yeah yeah he's that and uh like i said that's what i like about it you know yeah, a lot of that yeah. uh sketch marking and all those types of things it's it's very clean and just crisp and i really like that you know feel and usually when i try to get done with mine i try to i think what i like about it it's complex but it's simplified simplified enough to your eye so it's really easy to like you know um follow along and stuff like that so it's not so it's not like superhero-ish you know so i really i really dig him he's like one of my faves so that's my addition to this show and uh that's all we have <laughs> <laughs> I, damn I miss red and stimpy i love that that style oh is great. yeah god red and stimpy who did that, that uh, who was that guy john john k, k yeah krasinski or something Krasinski. yeah on uh, crick Lucy, yeah, sure. Hold on, I'll fuck it. Up. Alternate facts, it's true. Yeah, anything you say, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew we'd get there. <laughs> this, this is how the alternate you reality we're in now works, people. Yeah, it's uh, oh, that's the voices of Billy West and John. Bill, yeah, Billy West, and the uh, Billy West, Billy West yeah. does fucking everything, every voice, yes, matter. All right, now I gotta now I gotta type in who drew Ren and Simpy. And watch this guy come up with a seat. Yeah, it's John A R I C F A L U S I. So he voiced it too. So it's John Crick Falusi. 
He voiced it for a time, uh, and I think he Billy lost. West. Yeah, he voiced it from he, 91 to 93. And, and then Billy West did them both uh, after he got out, after uh, Nickelodeon, like, forced him out. Yeah. So Yeah, I remember um, there being a little bit of a coup, and the show wasn't as uh, crazy. Yeah. It became a little more safe. And then didn't he, like, come back? He did come back, and then it, it went way over the top yeah. when he came back. <laughs> it was like, like they were they were straight up raunchy on that show. Like this is how this fucking show was should have been made. Yeah, they came right. back harder. <laughs> they came back way hardcore. They're like, all right, no, you know, we might not have another chance. We're just gonna fucking do what yeah. we want. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, but it, it paved the way. That show paved yeah. the way for you know it, things South like Park. If we didn't have that, you probably never would have got a South Park or a Simpsons kind of stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. Did you guys catch that? Uh, I feel like hour-long Simpsons. Uh, by the way, where it, they, they, uh, no. it was an hour-long. They did their first hour-long episode, and it was a takeoff of the Great Gatsby. They, it was called the Great Fatsby. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. And but Homer was narrating, that? and uh, Rizza and uh, Snoop Dogg and Common oh, were no in it as themselves, and it was actually it was a really it was a really well done episode. Huh. Was this oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I think it was like the last uh, last episode last week. Oh my god! See, I've not watched The Simpsons in a few seasons. Me neither. But I wanted to check um, this one. I was like, how long with the Snoop Dogg and Common? <laughs> what the hell I'm, is this? I'm gonna. Look, I bet it's on Hulu. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, it was pretty good. It took a little bit to get started, uh, but they they the way they set up it was very good. A lot of good character about Mr. Burns. It <laughs> <laughs> awesome. was awesome. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to wrap this up here. Phil, why don't you kind of show the audience what you have as best as you All can. Right. Held you, Drew. This is uh, this is kind of where we landed, was uh, Liefeld Minimage. Yeah, that's great. That's a better than uh, Rob Liefeld drawing. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I can see why he did this for so many years. This was a lot of fun. I didn't have to it's follow any rules. Right. I didn't have to draw any feet. Uh, <laughs> I could draw this impossible woman down here. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> That guy was really onto something. Oh my god, it's great. Uh, well, thank you both for being on uh, Sketching Comedy today. We're going to have another one next week, same time, same bet channel. So hopefully we can hang out. And Imran, next week you're getting out your pens, right? I'm, I'll be doodling. You don't want to miss okay. it. Awesome. I don't. We'll have to do like like a special, like a handicap special when I draw, but we'll do it. <laughs> no, I'll be good. So, or we could do like, uh, we could do drawing lessons and uh, you, you know. We, oh yeah. We yeah, you can we have could do that. That would be fun. Well, I mean, I can totally do that, but it's like the difference between me and you guys is really easy. I'm a reproduction artist. I can reproduce anything. She you know, only draws pencil. sex scenes. But, <laughs> like I get so amazed. Yeah, I only get I get so amazed watching you guys come up with these new ideas. And the thing is, it's like I can come up with them for other things, just not with cartoons. So yeah, I'd love to, you know, definitely learn with you guys. What what a great way yeah, to- the, the viewer can join along. And look, we all love to draw reproductive organs. Is that we what you start said? We draw with reproductive with organs? <laughs> that's, we can start with him. That's where it all starts, with <laughs> Rob Liefeld. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Well, thank you for joining us in the chat room and we will definitely be back next week for more of this shit. So have a good week.